IOT Unit 1 for RGPV Exam 2023 Notes are in details link in comment section. Define IoT. IoT is network of interconnected computing devices which are embedded in everyday objects, enabling them to send and receive data. IoT stands for Internet of Things. It refers to the interconnectedness of physical devices, such as appliances and vehicles, that are embedded with software, sensors, and connectivity which enables these objects to connect and exchange data. This technology allows for the collection and sharing of data from a vast network of devices, creating opportunities for more efficient and automated systems. Over 9 billion feet things, physical objects, are currently connected to the Internet, as of now. In the near future, this number is expected to rise to a whopping 20 billion. Characteristics of IoT The Internet of Things, IoT, is characterized by the following key features. Connectivity Connectivity is an important requirement of the IoT infrastructure. Things of IoT should be connected to the IoT infrastructure. Anyone, anywhere, anytime can connect. This should be guaranteed at all times. For example, connection between people through internet devices like mobile phones, and other gadgets. Also connection between internet devices such as routers, gateways, sensors, etc. Intelligence and identity. The extraction of knowledge from the generated data is very important. For example, a sensor generates data, but that data will only be useful if it is interpreted properly. Each IoT device has a unique identity. This identification is helpful in tracking the equipment and at times for querying its status. Scalability, the number of elements connected to the IoT zone is increasing day by day. Hence, an IoT setup should be capable of handling the massive expansion. The data generated as an outcome is enormous, and it should be handled appropriately. Dynamic and self-adapting, complexity, IoT devices should dynamically adapt themselves to the changing contexts and scenarios. Assume a camera meant for the surveillance. It should be adaptable to work in different conditions and different light situations, morning, afternoon, night. Architecture. IoT architecture cannot be homogeneous in nature. It should be hybrid, supporting different manufacturers' products to function in the IoT network. IoT is not owned by any one engineering branch. IoT is a reality when multiple domains come together. Safety, there is a danger of the sensitive personal details of the users getting compromised when all his, her devices are connected to the internet. This can cause a loss to the user. Hence, data security is the major challenge. Besides, the equipment involved is huge. IoT networks may also be at the risk. Therefore, equipment safety is also critical. Self-configuring. This is one of the most important characteristics of IoT. IoT devices are able to upgrade their software in accordance with requirements with a minimum of user participation. Additionally, they can set up the network, allowing for the addition of new devices to an already existing network. Interoperability. IoT devices use standardized protocols and technologies to ensure that they can communicate with each other and with other systems. Interoperability is one of the key characteristics of the Internet of Things IoT. Explain IoT Conceptual and Architectural Framework? IoT Conceptual Framework 1. Devices and Sensors these are physical objects that are embedded with sensors and communication technology to collect data and transmit it to other devices or systems. 1. Examples of devices and sensors include smart thermostats, wearable health monitors, industrial sensors, and smart home appliances. 2. Connectivity. The devices and sensors must be connected to a network to transmit data. 2. This can be done through wired or wireless connections. 2. Examples of connectivity technologies include Wi-Fi, cellular networks, Bluetooth, and Zigbee. 3. Data processing. Once the data is collected, it must be processed to extract useful information. 3. This can be done using various algorithms and analytics tools, such as machine learning algorithms, data visualization tools, and predictive analytics models. 4. Applications. 
The insights gained from the data can be used to develop applications that can be used to control and manage the devices, or provide value-added services to users. 4. Examples of applications include smart home automation systems, asset tracking systems, and predictive maintenance systems. IoT Architectural Framework 1. Perception Layer This layer includes the devices and sensors that collect data from the physical world. 1. The devices and sensors in this layer can be categorized into three types. 1. Actuators, devices that can receive instructions from the network and act on them. 1. Examples include smart light bulbs, smart locks, and smart thermostats. 2. Sensors, devices that can sense physical phenomena, such as temperature, humidity, or motion. 2. Examples include temperature sensors, humidity sensors, and motion sensors. 3. Gateways, devices that act as intermediaries between the devices and sensors in the perception layer and the network layer. 3. Gateways can perform data aggregation, filtering, and analysis before transmitting data to the cloud. 1. Network layer. This layer includes the connectivity technologies that enable the devices to communicate with each other and with the cloud. 1. The network layer can be divided into two parts. 1. Local Area Network LAN, a network that connects the devices and sensors in a limited geographic area, such as a home or an office. 2. Wide Area Network WAN, a network that connects devices and sensors over a larger geographic area, such as a city or a country. 2. Examples of WAN technologies include cellular networks, satellite networks, and low-power wide area networks LPWAN. 1. Platform Layer This layer includes the cloud infrastructure that processes and stores the data, as well as the tools and frameworks used to develop applications. 1. The platform layer can be divided into three parts. 1. Cloud Services These are the services provided by cloud service providers, such as Amazon Web Services, AWS, Microsoft Azure, and Google Cloud. 1. Cloud Services include storage, computing, analytics, and machine learning services. 2. IoT Platforms these are platforms that provide specific IoT capabilities, such as device management, data processing, and analytics. 2. Examples of IoT platforms include AWS IoT, Microsoft Azure IoT, and Google Cloud IoT. 3. Application Development Frameworks These are frameworks that provide developers with tools and libraries to build IoT applications. 3. Examples of application development frameworks include Node-RED, Apache Kafka, and Kubernetes. 1. Application Layer This layer includes the applications that provide value to users or automate processes. 1. The applications can be categorized into two types. 1. User Applications These are applications that are used by end-users to control and manage the devices, or to access the insights gained from the data. 1. Examples of user applications include smart home automation systems, health monitoring apps, and asset tracking apps. 2. Enterprise applications. These are applications that are used by organizations to automate processes, improve efficiency, and reduce costs. 2. Examples of enterprise applications include predictive maintenance systems, supply chain management systems, and energy management systems.